Hey, good morning everyone. It is 9.30 a.m. in the morning. I'm already dressed up. I haven't eaten breakfast because we're about to go on a harrowing journey. Harrowing journey to Costco. Because um, Costco opens at 10 a.m. and I'm not about to see these Sunday, Sunday crowds um, to Costco. But right now I'm at on a rotation. I don't really get any of the weekdays off. So I can't go to Costco on the weekdays. So we're going to run over there and <laughs> grab some snacks because I need some. But also, my girlfriend really likes this um, pho that Costco sells. I'll show y'all when I get it. But my girlfriend really likes it because it tastes pretty authentic for something that's packaged. And it's really good sustenance for her morning job. And uh, lately, she's been working really long hours on the weekends. So she doesn't really have time to eat breakfast in the morning. She has to wake up super early. So I think it's my duty as, my bo as her boyfriend to go get some for her while she's working right now. So uh, I'm gonna go run over there and grab some. Uh, wish me luck, y'all. Okay, y'all, I obtained the bags. So this is called the Snapdragon Vietnamese Pho, pho Noodle Bowls. And they're like super good. Also, the entire trip to Costco was so, so interesting. On my way there, there was an old man wearing a hoodie and on the hoodie was a Jujutsu Kaisen, <laughs> Jujutsu Kaisen like graphic on it, which is the most Gen Z thing I am up to date with. I know the kids these days like Jujutsu Kaisen as one of the one of the anim, uh, animes, not animals. And I know Boruto is like the new Naruto situation. So uh, I was very confused. This man was definitely uh, more trendy than I will ever be as a twenty six year old <laughs> with the kiddos. And then like. When I parked into Costco, I got there 10 minutes early and tell me why I was still not at the front of the parking lot. Like I was like near the mid, mid back. Um, and it's just wild to me that like, are, are people like camping at Costco to make sure that they are the first ones to get in, in a Sunday morning. But this was the closest I've ever been. Hi, Jean-Luc, you want to say hi? This is the closest I've ever been to the entrance of Costco when I parked. Um, Costco is just such an interesting dimension of uh, of nothingness, <laughs> but also happens to be full of things that you need, but will probably expire before you use all of them. So in addition to this Snack Dragon Vietnamese Pho, I also got some protein shakes and um, some Tide Pods because I was running out. But more about these Snack Dragon Vietnamese Pho's. So, I love pho noodle soup. If you've never tried it, you should definitely give it a go if there's a pho restaurant at your city or wherever you are. There's more and more popping up in new cities all over the U.S. and in the world because they're just delicious brothy rice noodle dishes. And I've had instant pho before. Never liked them. Ever. Like ever since I was a kid, I tried, I even tried Vietnamese brands and they never have the same quality of flavor as what you'd get at a restaurant where they simmer the broth over time with star anise and a lot of cool spices um and these ones are the first instant pho noodles that taste absolutely delicious like this actually tastes like if someone were to cook this put it in a bowl and hand it to me and tell me they got it from a restaurant i would 100 percent believe it and i would believe that they got it from a good high quality pho restaurant that's how good the flavor of these snapdragon pho noodles are and it's pretty a uh, pretty price um not not that pricey i think for a bowl like this has nine in it and i paid about twelve dollars so i'll put um y'all y'all can get this at costco but if it's also available on amazon i'll put like the links in the description of all the things i talk about in this video with affiliate links so if you were to buy from those links i'll make a little bit of a commission since i'm not monetizing my videos as of right now i don't meet the requirements it helps me as a creator so if you if you want to buy from like amazon it'll help me out but definitely if it's more expensive on amazon buy it for your needs and get it cheap so yeah they're called the snapdragon vietnamese fun noodles so um it's around noon because i just i had breakfast before i filmed this i was like starving by the time i got back so um actually um in about 30 minutes i'm gonna have my second uh therapy appointment since i started therapy back up again and i'm really excited to talk 
uh, about the things that I've been experiencing in the last couple of weeks. I will say the last few weeks, my mental health has been doing really great. Um, I've been feeling really good. But recently, uh, I had a pretty hard discussion with someone that I loved and that's been on my mind. But also, uh, I started a new rotation and like I've talked about it in my other vlog in HIV psychiatry. And what I've been noticing is that lately I've been having these, what I call like trauma nightmares where my guilt kind of manifests in my dreams and uh, I like keep seeing people upset at me like especially patients or family members who are really sick or at a time where they were really sick manifesting into my dreams and telling me that it's my fault so um yeah I should probably unpack that with my therapist so I'm gonna do that and then after my therapy appointment, I'm going to go to the gym because yesterday I, I decided to skip the gym because I was just feeling low. Um, I actually forced myself to go to uh, this play that I had already planned to go with my friends. I was going to cancel. Yeah, I've been feeling super low after having like these awful, awful dreams and like, you know, that discussion I had with my loved one. So I was going to skip, but I told myself like I always realized that if I force, even if I feel like absolute garbage, I don't want to go out, I just want to cry all day. If I force myself to go out, I will have a good time and I'm so, so, so glad I did because I had a great time with my friends, we had a great dinner. I went to a bathroom stall and they had the cutest little <laughs> senior sign, um, someone that posted in the corner of the bathroom stall while I was taking a poop. <laughs> Uh, that said you are beautiful and all in all it just ended up being a great day and it put me back in a good place so this morning when i got up i was like i'm gonna do something nice for someone i love and that's my girlfriend today i'm gonna get her these vietnamese bowls she doesn't know yet but she'll find out uh when we see each other uh this week and um yeah i i just want her to know that she's special february is also another interesting month because my school is doing a challenge and the winner gets a Nike, $100 Nike gift card. So I've been eyeing this Nike Windrunner that I've been wanting for the last couple of months. But um, the challenge is literally um, so the person that walks the most at the school with our little pedometer app, they, they, they'll, they'll get the prize. And I think first, prize, first place is that Nike gift card, second place is like an Adidas gift card, and the third place I think is a Starbucks gift card. And then everyone who participates at the school, so far there's like about 60 people, um, they get our, uh, drawn into a raffle for another prize. So my goal is to win this because I want that gift card, but my classmates are ruthless. So I, I'm a really active guy. Y'all already know, looking at my vlogs, at how much I do in one day. So I usually border around 12,000 steps a day which is more than the average recommended amount of 10,000 steps so I'll be walking like three four miles a day right so I thought I could win like easily I wouldn't have to like improvise or anything but these guys they saw me winning <laughs> and then they started ramping up their um, pace so right now I'll make any excuse to walk around my apartment walk anywhere I use my little desk elliptical as much as possible so I can keep up with this so I'm actually doubling up my steps for this month to like 20 to 25 thousand a day just because these people every time I am on the top of the leaderboard someone else comes in <laughs> and beats me and I have to walk even more like yesterday after I came home from the play that I went to, I actually just walked around my apartment for another hour and a half to be on top of the leaderboard again. So I'm just walking around my apartment as much as possible. So I might be losing a little bit of uh, body fat this month because of uh, all this aerobics I'm getting in because usually I, I prioritize strength training over aerobics. I just finished my therapy session and it went really well. I'm glad. Um, I went and I was honest with my therapist about how I've been having like these like guilt dreams and we were able to like figure out why I might be having them. And she suggested to help me with like having less and less guilt dreams is to keep a positivity journal where like every day I, at the end of the day, I write about some of the good things that I did, some of the positive interactions I've had instead of not focusing too much on the negative things so i'm gonna like after the gym i think i'm gonna go down to the store and get a journal because i think it'll help like i'm i i'd had a, like a 
like sleep dream journal back in high school and it allowed me to remember a lot more of my positive dreams so i'm gonna i'm gonna start uh, <laughs> i'm gonna start journaling i'm gonna try doing it every day if not maybe two or three times a week but yeah it was a really good session i i really like my current therapist i just got back from the gym and today while i was at costco i actually picked up one of these protein shakes these fair life 30 grams protein shakes um it's been a while since i drank like already pre-made mixed drinks i've been using the been using the uh, optimum nutrition protein powders but sometimes i realize that when i'm at work so it's been fine i'm making those and drinking them when I've been on virtual rotations and off duty, but I realize when I'm actually at work, can't really make those at work and sometimes I crave a protein shake. And, so, and then when I come home, I'm just too lazy to do anything. So I end up skipping my protein shakes, which is not good for my nutrition or my exercise and, you know, nutrition plan. So I picked up one of these. I've never had this before. Before I was using the Premier Protein 30 grams ones, but, um, these these tend to um i really like fair life milk and they tend to be lactose free so i kind of wanted to try these out and these are uh, a little bit less and this one is non-caffeine so for uh, with the premier protein brands i only really like the coffee flavor everything else kind of tastes really bad but i think i've tried this one before and i liked it so we're about to do a taste test Oh, actually, let me shake it real quick. <laughs> so it doesn't all collect at the bottom. All right, all right, let's try it. I'm excited to try it. I'm, Fair Life milk is like some of the best milk I've ever had. So I have no doubt the protein shake is going to taste good. Mmm. It tastes exactly like Fair Life milk with a little bit Ah, that's what it is. Okay, so I got a little bit of artificial sweetener taste to it near the end, but it didn't taste like Splenda. But turns out there's stevia leaf uh, as the like sugaring agent for this. So it does taste it does taste a little like stevia near the end. It's not terrible, and it doesn't have the bitter aftertaste that uh, traditional whey protein does. So I think I can chug this pretty easily. Mmm. I don't need to chug it. It's like so smooth and milky. Mm. Let's see what else it has. There's actually not much. It's just milk protein and um, a little bit of oat fiber, some stevia for the natural sugaring and some vitamins. And that's all they included. Wow. Y'all get an A plus for your life. So before I hop into the shower, y'all, I just want to take some time today and before the sun starts setting and my GoPro image quality goes down, um, I want to take some time to talk about um, this last week since this vlog has been recorded was National Women's Day and Women Physician, Women Physicians Day uh, to kind of honor uh, women physicians that have been in this field and continue to do the great work that they do. And I kind of just want to sit down today and talk about the privilege that masculine and male presenting uh, physicians and medical students get compared to women physicians because we see time and time and again on social media where they like women physicians show their frustration in not being respected by either faculty like their co-workers and even patients and I see this a lot and I I really want to be transparent about it like um, before I medically transitioned I spent about one year uh, in the closet uh, to patients uh, my first year of medical school and I, I did get confused uh, for being a nurse a lot <laughs> It was uh, it wasn't as frustrating for me at the time because I it was my first year in medical school and I kind of preferred that they didn't assume that I was a doctor, cause just cause I felt like a nincompoop, eighty percent of the time. So I didn't have a problem then, but now as I'm gearing to become a physician in the next couple of months, and so are a lot of my colleagues and other women that I know, I see this, like 
disrespect when it comes to female and women clinicians and it's downright disrespectful so the other day i was working with a resident who was a woman and we went down to go talk to a patient and the entire time we were talking to the patient the patient kept asking her if she was single if she was married she said uh, i'm sorry sir we can we get back to like why we're here and why we're interviewing you and then he just kept hyper fixating on the fact that she's a woman and he kept saying like oh like of course like even if you don't tell me if you're with someone or not there's no way that you're not single and like it's just she's just trying to do her job and be a good physician and ask the right questions for the, this patient's health and the patient just doesn't respect her as a physician essentially and then he kept looking towards me and asking me medical questions but not her but I'm just a medical student and she's a physician and it is it's hard and like um earlier this week too a woman physician went on twitter and was like should, should i just correct patients like i don't want to be disrespectful should i just correct patients that i'm the physician because so often that i get confused uh for not a doctor and i honestly think that we should i want to be corrected i want to be put in my place because they deserve that respect the amount of respect i get for being a, just a medical student and people assuming i'm a doctor they deserve more respect if not vastly more than i do um another thing that happened like literally yesterday was that i was in the hospital and someone tripped and fell and i was with another i was with another student uh who was a woman and i remember one of the uh, one of the staff hospital staff that came over there um was like you're a doctor and like pointed at me but even even though we were both wearing the same uniform <laughs> and i was like it's very very like ingrained in our society to look if we see two people that look the same that look both look like doctors if there's a guy the guy's the doctor and whoever's not whoever's next to the guy is not a doctor and that's just disrespectful it really is we're both medical students and i and i have to be like no 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 i'm not a physician i am a medical student i don't have any like decision making capacity in this situation so yeah um it's this week has been national women physicians day and i want to let women physicians know that y'all deserve every every regard every respect that that you deserve Hey y'all, so a couple of hours ago I finished taking a shower, then I just messed around. Honestly, after the shower I got super super tired and I didn't want to do anything today and I I thought I deserved like a pretty good rest day today, especially because it's Sunday and I'm going back to work tomorrow. So I, I actually did want to do some really cool stuff for the vlog, but I just got lazy and I was like, you know what, I deserve, I deserve a rest day, especially since I had therapy, you know, I had a lot of time to like debrief and do things like that. So um, I really uh, just wanted to chill <laughs> before starting a new work day. Honestly, I didn't get a lot of the things that I wanted to do outside of the vlog too. So, but to, but before I leave y'all for tonight, I wanted to show y'all how I prep my lunch bag for med, um, for like my rotations, especially because in my rotations, I'm doing like a lot of work. Sometimes I'm staying at the hospital 12 hours of the day at a time. So I want to make sure I have enough food. So um, when I first started out in rotations, I got, I got this lunchbox, which is great. You know, it has a little flap in the front to like carry utensils like I, I still have like forks and stuff in here but um so I use this pretty frequently um and it's you kind of hold it like this as a handle which made it really great for me because I was like oh I can just carry it like a separate suitcase it had a like pretty big uh water size for uh like water bottle holder so I could put a really big water bottle on it it was great I got this from Target it's from this Target brand called the Foundry I don't know if they still sell this model but it was nice for what it was but one thing I noticed is that to open the lunchbox you have you have to open it from from the side so kind of made things difficult 
if I were to make something soupy for my lunch and I tilted it this way and carried it around this way it would spill out. Also another thing I noticed is that notice how an entire like takeout container kind of fills up the whole thing. Like there's barely any space and usually what I like to do, I like to put one of these like ice ice packets in my in my lunch boxes because since I am going to be on a ship for 12 plus hours I need my food to stay cold before they go bad and sometimes I don't always have access to a fridge a lot of sites will have access to a fridge so I don't need this but in a lot of other rotation sites I'll only have access to a microwave and even if there is access to a fridge the fridge is full because everybody else is using it and I hate having to move other people's stuff so I, I like putting one of these in here so when I, if I put one of these in here and I put this one, look, it's already full. So I can't carry any snacks. And I run the risk of spilling liquidy, uh, liquidy foods if I were to make anything like a curry. So what I ended up doing is, I quickly ditched this idea. It was a great, you've had a great run, my friend. But um, eventually, instead of something like this that opens from the side, I got one of these. This I got from Amazon, put the affiliate link down below if y'all want to get it. But it's a lot bigger, right? And I like the fact that it's a lot bigger because it opens top down like this. So it allows me to put my little ice pack in here along with food, like my, my main lunch for the day. But look at how much more space there is for the day. Also, it has two really big pockets for a water bottle or any other sort of, sort of drink you want to bring. Sometimes I would bring like a protein shake and put it on this side. If I want my protein shake to be cold, I put it in here. And in addition to the main food that I get, I will get like these little mini containers, put them in here, fill them with snacks, nuts, uh, blueberries. I'll be able to fill this lunchbox with so much more food. And it's still pretty easy to carry because not only does it come with a little side strap, I put it in this in this because I don't really like using the side strap, but this handle clamps down. So it's so easy to carry this around town. I, I don't have any issues with it. So it's usually how I prep my meals for uh, like very long rotations, just because it's so much easier to carry lunch and I can carry a lot of food. And I'm one of those people, like I know there's people out there that really don't eat when they're at work, but I need to eat. I need to eat every break. I need to make sure I drink enough water so uh, <laughs> my pee stays clear and I'm not getting giving myself um, <laughs> injury to my urinary tract. Because for some reason, I'm really prone to UTIs if I don't, um, if I don't, drink enough water throughout the day i've noticed that a lot and also it, this also has the front pouch like the other one where i can put uh, utensils here here's the strap i never use it really but if i need to i would and then i can carry my little medications but i also <laughs> i also carry little caffeine pills in here so i can uh get my daily caffeine in if i need it also this thing is pretty sturdy i can put hey baby you're interrupting again <laughs> Oh, I love him. Um, but it's pretty sturdy and I can actually put some things on. Like obviously it's going to get crushed if I put a lot of weight on it. But if I can put like a couple uh, notepads and books on top of this and it'll hold its structure. So yeah, I love this. I love this lunchbox. Um, I highly recommend getting something like this. If you work long shifts, you need to eat a lot. You need to snack a lot. It just carries everything you need to. And you'll never run out of space of things to carry. <laughs> Uh, when it comes to nutrition and sustenance wise when you're on the job So usually the night before I prep my lunch is I take one of these and I just put it in the freezer and overnight it gets really It gets really cold um, And it freezes over and surprisingly enough you would think that this only lasts like a couple of hours But as long as this lid is closed right here. Hey, baby. Say hi say hi <laughs> as long as this lid is closed it will keep my food cold all day like i uh, on thursday i actually did have like a 10 hour shift all my food was in here 
I ate my lunch, everything. I opened it once to do that. And then I came home and I opened it again. And that little ice pack that's in here, that I put it in, put it in the fr freezer, it stayed, it stayed cold still. It was still pretty cold. I mean, it had melted a little bit, but I'm pretty confident it would have lasted a full 12 hour shift. Anyways, y'all, um, I am stuttering a little bit in this video and for some reason I adopted a accent, which probably means I'm tired and it's time for me to get ready for bed. Um, I have a full day of work tomorrow, so I'll see y'all in the next vlog. I'm sorry I didn't get to do a lot, but I, I definitely was fatigued and low spoons, but I'm sure you understand and you sh I'm sure y'all understand my vulnerability on my vlogs and how... I really speak about the human experience and not try to show a uh, sugar-coated life to y'all in my vlogs. I'll see y'all in the next vlog. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter to keep up with my daily life and activism work. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Mwah. This is Ben.